Hi guys, welcome back. It's Nancy and we are going to play with another new stamp from the Kitchen Sink Stamp Summer 2020 release. This is called Multi-Step Pineapple. I don't know about you guys, but pineapples are all the rage. They're just so cute. Who doesn't love a nice sweet pineapple or a mixed drink with some pineapple? I love pineapples. You know, I was just thinking the other day, whenever I go on vacation, and we go out for breakfast. I don't know why, but I always ask for pineapple juice. I guess that's something we don't normally keep in the fridge. So going out on vacation, it's like a special thing for me. But anyway, love this layered stamp stamp. Can't wait to see how it stamps out. Um, so you have a full size pineapple, one, two, three, four layers. You have the top of the pineapple. Um, so you have, it's gonna be five, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four. Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, and then you have um, some smaller pineapples, some smaller tops, some cute sentiments. Where's the rum? Aloha, and I pine for you, which is so cute. All right, so oh, stay sweet. Let's uh, let's get started and stamp this out. I have a piece of Nina Solar White cut down to three and a half by four and a half. I know that's a weird size, but I'm going to show you guys why in a second. And I'm just going to do, um, this is my first time using this, so we're going to do the full-size pineapple here. And I'm going to try this one with my VersaFine Claire inks. I am using my mini misty. There is a little piece of sticky grid underneath there and I use the magnet to hold everything down. We're going to start with some VersaFine Claire in Cheerful. Well, these are pigment inks so they will be very vibrant. They layer on top of each other. Not like a dye ink that soaks into the paper. Mm, look at that. Doesn't that look fun already? Oh, another quick tip I wanted to share with you guys, which I just found out, is previously I was using this old hair bottle. I don't know what company this is. John Frieda, it looks like. And I had my cleaner in there, and I was spraying. Well, I it ran out, and I realized the sprayer fits on a Brutus Monroe Squeaky Clean. So there's a cool tip for you. So now I have Squeaky Clean. I think this is lilac scented. Um, and a spray nozzle for it. So when recycling. All right, moving on to layer two. Okay. We're going to go in with some Golden Meadow. Layer three. Now the color guide starts to go into some browns. So I have some acorn brown. already. All right, and then the final layer for the pineapple, layer four, and again, it is also using some brown, so we're going to line this up. Once you get the first couple layers, you can see right through the stamp and know where to line up. 
the other layers. Okay, so layer four we're gonna do in pine cone. Very, very lightly. Wow, you guys, as if that doesn't look like a real pineapple popping out of the paper. I always love these layered stamps because it's like, ooh, I just wanna, I wanna grab it. You see those uh, 3D artists that do chalk and, and paint on sidewalks and stuff and they make like make-believe holes in the ground and people walk around them. That's what these stamps are like. All right, let's move on to the tops of the stem. Oops, let's start with the right layer. So now we go to layer five. There we go. Now your color layering guide is always included and it shows you here where to line up the pineapple top and it says that the pineapple top is supposed to overlap and I do kind of see that. I just wanna make sure I have it correctly. There's two little indentations at the top of the pineapple there. how it goes. I believe that's how it goes. All right, so we're going to start with our lightest green, which is Verdant. Oh, I didn't bring it down far enough, but that's okay. We're going to keep going. Now that I see it stamped out, I see that ridge. But that's all right. Okay, and now we want stamp six. And we're going to use Green Oasis for that one. Oop, should have been over a little. Gonna use Shady Lane. Hi, I live on Shady Lane. <laughs> Ooh, that's starting to look pretty good. but not least layer number eight is going to be our darkest green we're going to use a uh, rainforest for that one Whew. that is a 3d looking pineapple all right, and then I'm gonna throw my sentiment on here. I liked the one that said, stay sweet. And I'm gonna put that down here in the corner. Let's make sure it's straight. Close enough, okay, and I am gonna go back in with, I like the line, uh, you know what? Green Oasis. Perfect, ugh, I love the scripty sentiment, the font. 
pineapple looks like you could just like pick it right off of there and eat it. Super cute. All right, now we're gonna put this card together. I'm gonna take a little gray marker here. C1 from Copics, and I'm just gonna draw a little kind of shadow here, that's all. It's a little shading. Just so our pineapple doesn't look like it's floating in air. See how that little bit just makes a difference. That's all we need to do to that. And then I'm gonna attach it to some kitchen wallpaper. What you just said? What the heck are you talking about, Nance? What is kitchen wallpaper? <gasps> what? You guys, it's the newest and latest and greatest from Kitchen Sink Stamps. All right, so what Kitchen Wallpaper is, is an SVG file you can download from Kitchen Sink Stamps. And then you can print it out on a laser printer. So this is the design I printed out on my laser printer. And then you foil it through your mink or your laminator. All right, and what you are left with is this beautiful foiled background. So now we have our little panel, and let me grab some foam tape. So not only do we have this cool pineapple, but now we have this foiled background to go with it because you can't have kitchen sink stamps without some wallpaper. I think this is a great idea, how fun it is to be able to put these backgrounds and add a little foil, add a little bling to your cards. Put one more little piece in the middle so we don't have any sagging. And this is Arteza foam tape you get like I don't know, nine yards or something. Sorry, 36 yards. 36 yards for um, 20 some dollars. I mean, yeah, can't beat that. I'll put a link for that down below for you guys as well. All right, but now we have our multi-step pineapple layered on our kitchen wallpaper foiled background. Put our little pineapple on there and bam, instant fun 3D looking card. You have all of that foiling. You have our pineapple. So much fun. There you go. Don't forget there is a giveaway going on from Kitchen Sink Stamps for the new release stamps. You can check them out at Fans of Kitchen Sink Stamps. Um, fans of Multi-Step Stamping, I think is the official name of it. I'll link it down below for you. On Facebook, also check me out on Facebook. It's Nancy Stamps 15 And also a giveaway on Instagram, Nancy Stamps 15 as well, and Kitchen Sink Stamps. There we go. This is the new Multi-Step Pineapple. And I only used one layer of the pineapple. There is also a smaller pineapple. Some really cute sentiments. Here you can see another example of the card. Where's the rum with the slice of the pineapple and a little umbrella in there. Here it is using um, the smaller pineapple and a um, wreath builder set. So really, really cute set. Love it. Love the Perfect for summertime as well. Um, so yeah, and using the new kitchen sink stamps wallpaper. Check it out. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, click the button that's going to come up in the bottom corner and then you can click the bell for notifications anytime I post a new video. Once again, thanks for watching and keep on stamping. Bye-bye.